Hello, good afternoon, Joao. Uh, this is Artem here, speaking from Volta Yachts, and uh, we're here uh, with, with uh, Joao Bastos from Sun Concept uh, on this beautiful uh, CAT 12. Um, and I, will, I would like to, to ask a few questions uh, at, uh, to Joao. Uh, hi, Joao. Uh, how are you doing? Wonderful, thank you. Uh, uh, I would like to, uh, first of all, if uh, you could pre present yourself and uh, uh, explain um, uh, a little bit about some concept. Okay, uh, my name is João Bastos. I am a um, uh, general manager of Sun Concept. Sun Concept is a, a solar boat building shipyard located in the south of Portugal. We started uh, five years ago um, with the, the purpose of building from scratch uh, solar powered vessels. Our objective was to deliver sustainability to the nautical world uh, and to prove that by, by, making, uh, by designing and building uh, solar powered vessels uh, that's a, a real option on the nautical world and by building in series that we can provide to the market uh, effective models uh, that are in line uh, with today's uh, both sustainability trends but also with the market prices of uh, other boats such as uh, sailboats or motorboats. Perfect. Uh, this sounds really uh, interesting. Uh, this is what we are looking for uh, in Volta as well. Um, so we have uh, really common goals. Uh, could you explain briefly uh, what is this ship uh, we're on now? Uh, uh, what are the main characteristics and what's it, what is it for? The, the vessel we are now is um, a 12 meter catamaran that doesn't make this sound. <laughs> uh, it's a 12 meter catamaran. It's uh, with a 5.95 uh, beam. It's uh, an open water boat that can serve several purposes. Um, we have different layouts prepared. Uh, the first one was uh, launched in the water in June uh, 2019. It's a uh, tourism version, so it's a boat prepared to receive people with lounge areas, um, very comfortable, that can, in, that can uh, enjoy uh, a ride in silence, in complete silence, um, and uh, not harming the, the nature around it. Um, it's, uh, it makes the, the, the trip very comfortable. For the tour operator, of course, it has a very big advantages, advantage be, besides the, the, um, the differentiation of the product uh, that, can have, uh, that can be very important for his business, but also the, um, the economical reason. So the boat doesn't spend one drop of fuel, so your cost from, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with fuel comes to zero and your cost with maintenance uh, we calculate it's around 85 percent less than a, a combustion engine boat um, besides this version uh, of for for uh, the lounge version for tourism operators we also developed <coughs> excuse me this this boat that we are in it's a cruise version so it's a version very dedicated for uh, private use but also for charters for private use, uh, we have a 27 and a half uh, square meter room where we have dining areas, TV areas, kitchen, uh, all the storage uh, with a completely open view. As we can see around here, we have, we have this kind of, um, of uh, glasses all around that gives the idea that we are in total contact with nature and with the environment that surrounds us. Um, and also inside of the hulls, we have two suites, so a double bedroom and a bathroom uh, on each hull uh, that can provide very, very uh, comfortable weekends on board and uh, a little bit longer trips. Perfect. Uh, could you tell us uh, your perception? Where uh, is the boating market going to for the, for the next few years? I believe that the boating, the boating industry will have to be, will have to go uh, along with the trend of uh, of the world. Uh, we are now at a point that we have to pay attention to the environment that surrounds us, 
we have to mitigate the effects that are happening and um, we see that on land transportation we see that on uh, construction on infrastructures on everything in today's society is mostly uh, or becoming mostly about sustainability and I, I, I do believe that the nautical world will follow the same trend I think it's um, it's the only the only way we can go to do something for uh, for our planet and at the same time we are providing more comfortable more comfort to ourselves um, because as I, I think that it's becoming uh, um, an accepted fact that uh, electrical propulsion it is absolutely more comfortable uh, and of course more environmental friendly which we strongly need today yeah, we, we believe the same things uh, uh, so we completely coincide with you on, on this um, and uh, I, I've heard that uh, Sun Concept has been preparing something new uh, to, to launch uh, quite soon to the market. Could you tell us uh, a, little bit, uh, a little bit more about what you are preparing now? Well, some concept is always um, looking for new ideas and uh, receiving new ideas and, 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 and accepting them and thinking about them. That's, that was actually the way that we, we started developing solar powered vessels. Um, currently, we have several challenges uh, on our hands. Uh, we can start by um, the one, uh, the the one that we are going to start uh, very soon, which will be the building uh, the the of uh, three new vessels that are already uh, developed to to oyster farming. So we're going to have a model exclusively for professionals that are uh, working in aquaculture to to make sure that they uh, have um, less impact on the areas that they are farming the oysters that we eat. We also have um, uh, projects for uh, big vessels that we are, we are going to build in cooperation with, uh, with other shipyards, uh, solar passenger uh, vessels um, for 150, 180 or more people. Uh, and on our next in line for uh, series production, we are developing an eight and a half meter model. So a boat that will have uh, performances very close by to, uh, to propulsion engines um, boats today. Uh, and uh, at the same time, not looking at a very uh, much higher price than what we are looking today in this kind of, uh, of vessels for uh, day cruising. So, as always, as from Sun Sailor 7.0 to this Cat 12.0 up to, the, to our next model, our, always, our objective is always to place in the market uh, vessels that are according to what the people, um, to what the boat users want and um, in line with, uh, with, with the prices that are practiced in the market today. Okay, uh, thank you very much for, for, for this interview and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.